It's one of SeaWorld's most popular shows, and this is how it's going to look for a while because they're pulling six trainers to work alongside rescue workers. What we're seeing right now, it is, it is a little bit overwhelming of an emotion. SeaWorld rescue worker Jody Westberg hates seeing sick animals, and she's never seen so many. We basically are rehabilitating right now two years worth of what we normally rescue. They typically rescue about 100 sea lions a year. This year, more than 400 in just the first couple months. They're severely malnourished because something seems to be wrong with their food source. Rescue workers are overwhelmed and they're exhausted. But the reason I'm also getting a little bit emotional. What she struggled to say was she just found out they're going dark with the sea lion and otter show to get more hands on deck. It could hurt profits and it's something the park has never done before. That really chokes me up, just this park's commitment, the people I work, the team members I work with, they're my heroes. And more of those heroes are coming back to help us. They're also flying workers in from SeaWorld Orlando, SeaWorld Texas, Discovery Cove, and Busch Gardens Tampa. In 2013, the company spent $3 million on their rescue program, and this year is shaping up to be far more costly. They're building two new pools to make room for sea lions coming in by the truckload. In the meantime, they've moved other animals like turtles to free up space. As more came in, I noticed some heads popping up, and it's something they're seeing more of. So there's a lot of coming and going and a lot going on, so it's like the dolphins get to watch a brand new show. It's like they get to see Sea Rescue live. So they get to watch a different kind of sea lion show. Scientists say they don't see an end in sight, at least in the near future, but SeaWorld says they do not plan to turn any sick animal away. At SeaWorld, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.